Back to class. Yeah, I do have please. a beef with you, though, because I do want to take more of your classes, and I've emailed your people multiple times. Oh. What I really want, and I wonder how much you hear this, is like, as much as I love what you do in your class, I need audition classes. I audition more than I'm on set. I audition a lot. And I want an audition class. Your only audition class is during the day, so I can't take it. So since I've left your class, I've taken a bunch of audition classes like mm. Annie Grindley. I mm. took Robert Diavonzo recently. Mm. So that's kind of what I've been gravitating towards. Do you find that that is becoming more of a thing, especially in the world of self-tapes? Or, um, Yeah, I mean, listen, I could add, I mean, we do auditions first week of every class. Right, and, right. And we've changed it to where now we do it a couple of different ways. We actually, and I've actually been doing it more than once a week. Oh, cool. Uh, sometimes we're, I'm putting you in front, of, like not only I'm asking you to pre-tape, we watch your pre-tape. Oh, I love that. I give that. you notes on your pre-tape. Didn't know that. Then we put you in front of the camera and then we work it and then I say, you see, <laughs> you know, often, or brilliant, whatever. Um, I just think we're living in a world where, and no offense to you, but a lot of people are wanting to do audition class because they're trying to book a job, right? but they're not trying to become better actors. And it's very result oriented. Yes. And they're just trying to get it right and they feel accomplished, but they're not actually doing really great work. Sure, They're just feeling like they're doing something because, hey, I'm getting audition ready. So you're not really preparing to be on set for a theatrical audition. You're just, but you are ready to do a self tape. So I'm trying to get actors really fucking good. And then... Like I, so many times I watch like, but I just want to know in front of the camera, then freaking put yourself in the front of the camera every single day. You become a student. You're putting too much, you're giving so much uh, uh, power to that teacher to go, yes, Mike, yes, Mike. You can self-teach, self-tape. Right. If you actually do it every freaking day, going to class once a week, getting yes, no, it's such a slow amount of information being absorbed into your head and still not even giving you enough agency or making you feel like you actually are the answer if you start playing with things. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot to take in. I don't disagree. <laughs> yeah. It is sort of a chicken or an egg though, right? Like you can be an amazing actor, but if you never book anything, what's the point of that? But at the same time, if you take all these audition classes and then you book in a bunch of auditions and suck, then you're going to quickly not be booked anymore. So it is, it feels sort of chicken and an egg. And I like the idea that you're doing more of the auditions in your I, class now. I don't disagree. I mean, listen, I think there's a guy we have at my studio who I, uh, one of my, well, he's an actor, he's a teacher, John Beavers, who I just love so very much. And Britt Rentschler, who I love so Let me get those names off the floor for what, you. No, but John is, um, Right now he's on. He's like part of that Kevin Costner oh, thing, sure, sure, the yeah, Horizon. Yeah. He's just did this new series with. Uh, he's on a series with Sterling K. Brown, and uh, he's really been doing quite well. Awesome, but his self tapes are so effing good. Yeah, so effing good. But here's the difference: a his acting is very realized. But he talks about acting like a 40-hour-a-week job. So when he gets an audition, he's spending a full workday on it. Yeah. He's crafting it. He's thinking about, he's thinking about the angle. He's, think, he's really thinking about how to use the camera. And I think that's the thing that really is, sure, it can be taught, but can it be learned? <laughs> you know what I mean? I can teach it, but you've got to experience it and right. experience it regularly. Because it is doing two things. If you think about it, it, there's a technical aspect and organic. The organic aspect is embodying the character fully. You know what I mean? Embodying that story. The technical is really knowing how would they be shooting it on set. Right. Not a self-tape. Too often I'm watching people do self-tapes and it looks like they're doing a self-tape. Mm. It doesn't look like they're in a scene. I want to feel like I'm actually on that set. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people don't do that enough. I watch them square off to the camera and be like, I'm, it's like they're auditioning in front of a room full of, uh, of producers in person, which is a completely different thing. Right. You're in front of a camera. So when you're getting ready for that, don't think I'm getting ready for a self tape. Think I'm getting ready to actually go to set that day. And I'm going to set that day. Where is everybody? What would the angle be? What's the feeling they're trying to do? Is that a tight close up or is that is that mid? Are we going to be doing, would it be part of like a two shot? 
You know what I mean? So getting going a step further, and the more you are practicing those technical um, concentrations, eventually you don't even have to think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like someone who's been in front of a camera for, like on soap opera, though some of those people have been in camera for like 50 years. Right. So they're very aware of exactly when the camera's zooming in. Right. They know how to hold, but they don't even have to think about it because it, they're so, it's so practiced. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I want to learn. <laughs> Robert Giovanzo did a little bit of it in his class, and it was like a taste, and it was really good. Something I I coach with your your uh, your tree Bethany occasionally from now and then. Yeah. Uh, what's her last name? Gaber, Gaber, Goober, Goober. You know, Let's call her Goober. She's one of my favorite people in the world, and she loves. And I just town. will call her Bethany. I would have Jaber, Jaber, Gaber, Gieber. Goober. A, by the she way. she did a self tape with me once probably six months ago or nine months ago. And it was like, I was sort of a menacing character and she was just like lean in and like mimic the camera. And it, it looked so good. Yeah. And see, like that's where I want somebody to teach me. And, and I want to learn that stuff because when I get a self tape, I'm just like, I have general ideas, but I'm an actor. I'm, I like direction. And so that's kind of where my head's at. Just try something once. Put yourself on tape five times a week mm. with five different pieces of material for one month. Yeah. And then bring me back for four minutes and we'll do this as an addendum. <laughs> and like, no, seriously, just do it. And, but do it with someone. Yeah. Study it. What can we shoot differently? How can we, because you are telling a visual story. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, I just think too often we're wanting, I think that's what it's like. Look, one thing I always say is like, don't read, excuse me, don't read an acting book until you're already a great actor. Sure. Because I don't think anyone understands it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as far as self tapes go, you become a great actor. Self tapes become a lot easier. Yeah. Because you are, so many things are informing your relationship to the camera, but the environment, you're so clear. And that begins to inform how much intimacy you have in a scene, how much closer when you lean in. You know, the one thing I think actors don't use enough is they don't play with the depth of field. I agree. And it's astounding. They're like, it just becomes very two dimensional. I agree. I'm like, let's do everything we can to make it three dimensional. Yeah. Um, I actually just, just remind me, I also took a William O'Leary class. I think you know Billy. I have not seen him in 15 years. Uh, I took that right or right around after I left your class, and he worked on some of that too. Um, Isn't he but, online now? Is he still around? I think he left LA COVID. Oh, oh, he did? I think so. I think he went back to like the Pacific Northwest. But my point is, uh, what you just said, though, with, with like put yourself on tape five times in a week, that's the class I want. I think that's a great class because I can do that, but then I'm just looking at it and like second guessing myself. I want feedback. I want to see how other people did it as well. You know what I mean? Like if if there's a class of 10 people and they all put themselves on a tape and then we can see how everyone approached it. I think that's fascinating to see too because then you can see what worked and what didn't. All right, we'll work we're, we'll work on this. Do you want to be in person or on Zoom? I hate Zoom. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it in per-